Welcome to Workday Recruiting, Managing Job Requisitions. In this session, we'll explain how you can manage job requisitions in Workday. So, you've created or copied some requisitions, but sometimes changes happen. When they do, Workday makes updating them a breeze. To make any changes, you'll use the Edit Job Requisition task. Here, you must first choose a reason for making the change. If the requisition you edit is associated with multiple positions, any changes will apply to all related job openings. If your requisition is posted on career sites, consider whether the changes need to be reflected there too. If they should, you'll need to unpost and then repost the jobs to ensure that career sites reflect the updates. Depending on your business needs and processes, your Workday tenants might offer a feature that allows candidates to self-schedule specific tasks on both job and evergreen requisitions. The self-scheduling calendar feature allows candidates to self-schedule for events like phone screens, on-site assessments, and orientation. Ever need to put a hiring hold on a position? Freezing and unfreezing job requisitions is another way to manage your requisitions. However, you should note that you cannot freeze an evergreen requisition. Freezing a requisition temporarily puts it on hold, meaning you can't hire for that position or add new candidates. Here's how it works. You'll use the Manage Job Requisition Freeze task to freeze and unfreeze job requisitions or evergreen requisitions. But remember, this doesn't apply to evergreen requisitions. When you freeze a job requisition, you must choose a reason, such as a budget freeze, as shown in this example. Later, when the budget constraints lift, you could unfreeze the requisition. You'll also set a start date for the freeze and select the frozen checkbox. Now, let's view the supervisory organization for this position. Notice that this position now displays on the Unavailable to Fill tab. After submitting a freeze, Workday displays the position as both frozen and unfilled. This is because you can still review applications in progress and move candidates along. Also, unless the requisition is unposted, internal and external candidates can even apply while it's frozen, giving you a head start when you unfreeze. Ready to take the position off hold? Unfreezing is similar to freezing. You could search for the Manage Job Requisition Freeze task once more and make updates there. Optionally, directly from the requisition, you can select the Related Actions icon, choose Job Change, and then select Manage Job Requisition Freeze. With freeze and unfreeze functionalities, you can keep your organization's hiring flexible and adaptable. Finally, the last action you can take is to close a requisition. While this task permanently closes a job requisition, it might not close the related positions, depending on your business requirements. As shown here, closed positions appear on the staffing tab for the supervisory organization in the Positions Without Job Requisitions section. In this case, the position remains open and unfilled unless a validation rule prevents hiring into a position without a job requisition. They're essentially on hold, but still visible. Let's review the distinction between freezing and closing. Freezing a job requisition freezes the position. However, the position remains unfilled. When you close a job requisition, the option to also close the unfilled position depends on your organization's configuration. The good news is whether you plan to freeze or close, you can handle it in bulk by using mass actions. To close, freeze, or unfreeze multiple job requisitions, run the Mass Action on Job Requisitions report. Here, you'll find search facets that allow you to identify and select the specific job requisitions you want to act on. In this session, we've covered all the ways you can manage your job requisitions. This included updating a requisitions assigned role, 
discussing the self-scheduling calendar, freezing and unfreezing a requisition, and closing a requisition. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.